This is the best cleanser ever. It's been a long time since I sat down on my bed and recorded a YouTube video, but I am so happy to be back. It's actually been three weeks since we arrived in Copenhagen after our interrail trip, and it's honestly been a couple of weird weeks. I've been feeling a bit unmotivated and just lazy, and I honestly don't really know why. It's so strange because I love summertime here in Copenhagen and honestly, I should be happy and having fun, but the last couple of weeks have been like the complete opposite, if I'm being honest. So first of all, the weather here in Copenhagen has been shit. It's not summery at all. It's been cloudy, it's been breezy, it's been cold, it's been raining. I don't understand what's going on. Like this must be the worst summer in Copenhagen that I've ever experienced. And also so many of our friends, almost like all of our friends are traveling. It's honestly been a bit lonely here in Copenhagen. I love having fun with our friends and go party or go to the harbor and just like hang out with your friends. And we haven't been doing that at all. So I guess I just wanted to sit down with you guys and tell you how I'm feeling. That's why I love YouTube because you can be so real and so authentic and it's just easy to be very personal with you guys. I did a Q&A on my Instagram recently and so many of you guys have been asking me questions about what Helge, my fiance, does for a living. Helge decided to join my team so now we are both working full-time with my social media. He edits my YouTube videos, he helps me out with all of the communications with the brands I'm collaborating with, he helps me out with all of the financial stuff, he takes my pictures, and honestly so so many other things. And it's just so so amazing to have him join me on this adventure. I know that some people say that it can be risky to mix business with family, but honestly, we've been working together for four months now. It's been so amazing. So that's also the reason why we were able to go on an interrail trip, because we are working with my social media and this was basically a work trip and the trip was just so amazing and it was insane to be able to experience this while working, you know? So after we got home from our entrail trip, we've been in a weird routine. We haven't really been productive and I've been feeling really bad about it. It was just a constant cycle of this routine, this bad routine. And yesterday was like a breaking point. It was like, now I want to make a change. So yesterday I decided to go out. I brought my blanket. I brought a notebook and a book and I put my phone in the cabinet under the sink in the bathroom. I just kept it there. I didn't bring it with me outside. I was just sitting there with my thoughts and breathing in the fresh air. And I have never almost journaled in my life, but I've heard really good things about it and that it's really healthy to get your thoughts onto paper. First, I just wrote down everything that I wanted to improve in my life. For example, I wanted to spend less time on my phone. I wanted to go to Pilates four to six times a week. I wanted to write down goals. I'm literally reading everything on my list here. <laughs> I wanted to read more and especially books on self-development. I have a bunch of books that I want to read, but I haven't been reading at all. I want to go to bed earlier. I want to wake up earlier. And after I had written a couple of pages and I felt a bit clearer about how I was feeling, I started reading my book, Atomic Habits. But this book, it's amazing. 
so amazing. It's honestly embarrassing to say, but I think it's been a year since I started this book and it's been taking me ages to finish it, which is weird because it's so easy to read and it's so interesting. So I don't really understand why it's been taking me so long, but it's honestly just that I've not been prioritizing reading. So this book digs into the science of habits and gives you practical tips to make positive changes in your life. I'm almost finished with the book. I read so much yesterday. I just kept my phone under the sink in the cabinet. I didn't touch it. It was just so good and so healthy. And when I checked my phone after like the whole evening, there was nothing happening. I didn't have any messages and I didn't miss out on anything. So instead of like mindlessly scrolling on my phone through the whole evening, I was reading and this is just something I really want to improve. Of course, it's a bit difficult when I'm working with social media. Of course, I need to spend some time on my phone, but I feel like I've just been mindlessly scrolling. It's unnecessary and I want to quit it. So yeah, I kind of just wanted to share this with you guys because on social media, everything can seem so perfect and amazing, but in reality, it is not always the case. So this morning, I decided I wanted to film a YouTube video and bring you guys along on this journey on becoming my best self and just improving my well-being. So today is Saturday and it is a bit gloomy and breezy outside, but I had this crazy idea to go swimming in the sea. I don't know if it's the best idea when the weather is like this. It's definitely gonna be very refreshing and very cold, but I think it's a good start. So let's get ready. I decided to bake some cinnamon buns and they need to rise for two hours so it's going to be perfect while we are swimming so when we get back home we can put them in the oven and have a little snack so we are ready to go We stopped by the bakery and bought some buns and some coffee. The weather was teasing us before because it was pretty sunny when we arrived, but now there's like a big cloud over us. It's time to dip into the water. The sun is finally shining, so we are gonna undress and uh, go have a swim. I can't believe that we are doing this. I'm too scared to dip into the water, so I'm gonna take the stairs. <laughs> It was so refreshing to have a swim in the sea. I honestly think we should do this more often because you feel so good in your body afterwards. I don't think I could do the same as Birta taking the stairs because I just want to jump in yeah. and I think that's easier. I didn't want to like uh, wet my hair so that's why I took the stairs but honestly it wasn't so difficult. We feel pretty refreshed now. Mm -hmm. I think we are gonna read a bit in our books. I really want to finish this one and then I think we're probably just gonna go home and bake the cinnamon buns. Oh, I'm so excited. It's been a long time since we made them. We used to do them like all the time, like when we lived in our previous apartment. We actually have never made them in the new apartment and it's almost been a year since we moved. Yep. So it's about time that we make those delicious cinnamon buns. <laughs> We are back home. We just took a shower and now it's time to bake the cinnamon buns. And we need to make like the filling, which is just softened butter and brown sugar. The 
the buns are in the oven and while we are waiting i wanted to show you guys a very special gift that i received yesterday i'm honestly just speechless I unboxed it yesterday and I was literally about to cry. So this painting is by an Australian artist. Her name is Grace and I will show you guys her Instagram. She is incredibly talented and she works on commissions. So if you're interested in buying her artwork, then you can just message her. And I am honestly just so blown away by all of these details and like the colors and everything is just so perfect. She was honestly just so sweet. She just wrote me on Instagram and she really wanted to make me a painting. And I am so grateful. Yes, I am so happy with it. So the buns are looking very cute. It's been a long time since we've made them. So they are a bit funny. But the last step is just to put some powdered sugar on top. Well, I need to get ready because I am going to dinner with my best friend. We are going to a Vietnamese restaurant that I've never been to, but I've been wanting to go there for such a long time. So today I am finally going there and I'm very, very excited. Matilda just wanted to quickly say hi. But yeah, during summer, I honestly like don't put on so much makeup because I have a bit of tan on and I think it's kind of cute. But I mean, since I'm going out for dinner, I think it's appropriate to put on a little bit of makeup. So I'm using this foundation. It's super lightweight and this is like my all-time favorite. You guys are probably bored of seeing me using it, but it's honestly just so good. And this is a darker shade than I usually use because I have a little tan going on. So I think this one matches perfectly. So I'm meeting up with my friend Thorin and she is also from Iceland. She is one of my oldest friends and I haven't seen her in quite some time. So I'm very excited to spend some time with her tonight. By the way, the cinnamon buns turned out to be delicious. They tasted better than they looked. I can admit that they were a bit like crusty on the outside and didn't look so tasty, but they were yummy, like yummy, yummy, yummy. I think this is like the perfect recipe to bake during the weekends because it's just so cozy and you can just snuggle in bed. But yeah, we are going to Iceland on Thursday and I am so excited to go and see my family. There's actually something that I haven't told you guys. So my sister recently had a baby and it's her third baby, but it's her first baby girl. And what is so special about it is that she named her after me. So her name is Birta Frostadóttir. And it's so, so beautiful. I like cried when she told me. I just feel so honored that she would want to name her baby after me. It's honestly the best feeling in the world and I'm just so extremely excited to go and see her. I'm meeting her for the first time. She was born almost two weeks ago. She is just so beautiful. I just know that we are gonna have this very special bond. I mean, since we are sharing a name and everything. <laughs> Guys, I bought a new Rare Beauty liquid blush because I ran out of my older one, but it lasted for like a year. For a year and I used it almost like every single day. So if you are looking for a good blush, then I highly recommend this one. I use it in the color Happy. It just immediately makes you so much more alive and pretty. Some of my girlfriends don't use blushes and I always just get so surprised because I think blush is like a staple in my makeup routine. I'm using the Anastasia Brow Freeze, but I have to admit, I don't think this product lives up to the hype. I would think that it would make my eyebrows like glued on, but it just kind of makes them like soft. I can't really explain. I don't really know why I'm using it. I think it's like okay for like a couple of hours, but for the whole day, no. So since we're back in Copenhagen and I'm back in my vlogging zone, 
I wanted to ask you guys what type of videos you would like me to film. I of course want to film videos that you guys want to see. So please let me know in the comments. I would love to hear. Finishing the makeup with some setting spray. I'm gonna use this lip gloss. Cute. And now you guys need to help me pick an outfit. We want to look casual, but cute. Let's try and figure it out. I have this new shirt from Gant. I haven't worn it before. I think this is like summery, casual, cute, but I'm not sure what I should wear underneath. If I should wear like white pants or if I should wear like jeans or black pants, but I'm gonna put it on and then we can try on some pants. So I have like three options that I'm going to show you guys. So first option are these black baggy jeans. I think this is pretty cool. I always feel like when I see girls wearing like baggy things on Pinterest, they always look super cool. But I feel like when I wear it, sometimes I'm just like, it just, it's not the same vibe. But I honestly think it's always just in your head. And I think I just have to have the confidence and then I will look cool. Next up are my favorite baggy blue jeans. They are perfect. Literally perfect. They are from Bash Paris. I'm not sure if they sell them anymore. I think they are called the Algo jeans. They are perfect. It's more like bluish, more like colorful, but the shirt itself, it's pretty colorful. So I don't know. Last but not least, I'm going to try on these wide baggy trousers. I love how I'm showing you guys three options of just like different colors because essentially it's all like pretty baggy and have like a similar fit but I just can't resist. I'm so obsessed with like baggy trousers and I also think it's just comfortable. I think we have a winner. I think it's cool. But now we should pick shoes. Okay, I have to put you here so you guys can help me pick the shoes. They are very similar. So these ones are from Sandro Paris. I've never worn them before, but they are so elegant and chic. I love them. And these ones are the one that I thrifted in Vienna. Okay, so I chose these heels that I thrifted. I think they are a little bit more casual. And now we just need to pick a bag. This one is Ralph Lauren and I thrifted it in a random store here in Copenhagen. And it's blue, so it fits nicely with the outfit. But then I also have this bag from Cala Jade. And I think this is probably like my all time favorite bag. The only issue with this one is that it doesn't really fit underneath your shoulder without it being like super awkward. <laughs> like I'm not gonna be like this. So you kind of have to have it like this, but it's kind of big. For this one, you can have it on your shoulder or you can have it like crossbody or you can have it like this and it's way smaller and convenient. I think that I almost always just hold it in my hand like this. It's honestly like my most worn bag ever. I think I'm gonna pick this one because it is my baby. We are ready to go. Go and roll. just assure you guys that Matilda is waiting for me at the door. Well, oh well. I am here with my sweet little baby. Hello Matilda. Mm. I'm honestly so happy that we named her Matilda. I think it's such a beautiful name and it's kind of Icelandic but kind of Danish. It's like in the middle. But yeah, I'm back home and just poured myself a glass of sparkling water. So we sat at the restaurant for 
a couple of hours it was so nice to finally catch up it had been way too long since we had some quality time together so i just got myself into my comfy clothes and i have my favorite snack here it's dates with peanut butter covered in dark chocolate it is my favorite thing in the whole entire world for me this is the best thing ever like i would eat this over a bag of candy all day helge is in the cinema with his friend and they are seeing the barbie movie i am gonna figure out what i'm gonna watch so i'm not really sure i just want to have a little bit cozy time because it's saturday but yeah i just want to build a good routine and start building some really good habits into my life. I want to kind of document it and bring you guys along on the journey. And this was just the first day. I just kind of wanted to tell you guys how I was feeling and just spending a day with you guys, even though I didn't really do anything productive, but that wasn't really the point of this video. But yeah, this was it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I will see you next Wednesday. Mwah, bye!